G'day. Welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on 9th of November 2011. We start with this brief prayer. O merciful Father, we thank you that you are a loving God. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for life and that we can know you personally. Amen. We now come to a time of confession of our sins. The Apostle John writes in 1 John 1 verse 8 to 10. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Let's now have a short time of silence to reflect upon our lives, and then we will say a general confession together. We say together, Heavenly Father, you have loved us with an everlasting love, but we have gone our own way and broken your laws. We are sorry for our sins and turn away from them. For the sake of your Son who died for us, forgive us, cleanse us, and change us. By your Holy Spirit, enable us to live for you and to please you more and more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. I will now say a general confession and please respond with thanks be to God. God has promised in his word that when we confess our sins, he forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Thanks be to God. Now we are free to give God our praise, knowing that we have confessed our sins, that he has forgiven us, and there is no impediment to our praise. So come, let's praise God with Psalm 134. Psalm 134. Come, bless God, all of you serve God, you priests of God, posted to the night watch in God's shrine. Lift your praising hands to the holy place and bless God. In turn, may God of Zion bless you, God who made heaven and earth. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. I wonder how you view Jesus Christ. What is your opinion of the man whose very birth splits history into two parts, before his birth and after his birth? This Jesus, the Word of God. In the beginning, this Jesus, the Word, already existed. This Jesus, the Word, was with God, and this Jesus, the Word, was God. Jesus, the Word, existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through Jesus, the Word, and nothing was created except through Jesus, the Word. Jesus, the Word, gave life to everything that was created, and his very life brought light to everybody. This light... Jesus the Word shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish the light. That's Jesus Christ, 
the man who was and is God. Jesus Christ, who is the visible image of the invisible God. Jesus Christ, who existed before anything was created, and he is supreme over all of creation. Indeed, for through Jesus Christ, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. Jesus Christ made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through Jesus Christ and for Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Jesus Christ is also the head of the body, the church. Jesus Christ is the beginning, supreme over all who rise from the dead. Therefore Jesus Christ is first in everything. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in the man Jesus Christ and through Jesus Christ alone God has reconciled everything to himself. Jesus Christ made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of his very own blood on the cross. That's my Jesus. My Jesus who is fully divine, fully human, glorious in his death and resurrection. My Jesus who is supreme over all, the creator of all. My Jesus who is the eternal leader, eternal sustainer. Mine. My Jesus who uh, has all or power and authority. My Jesus who reconciles me with God. My peacemaker with God. And he is the one who gives perfect peace. There's only one saviour for the world, that's the man, Jesus Christ. There will never be another, because there is no need of another. This Jesus is coming back as well, but this time he is not coming back as a baby, but as the living, holy, almighty Son of God to judge the nations. What does Jesus look like now? His close friend John saw him some years after Jesus' ascension back to the right hand of God. Here is what John saw. Jesus, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet and with a golden sash around his chest. The hair on Jesus' head was white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. Jesus' feet were like bronze, glowing in a furnace. Jesus' voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Jesus' right hand held seven stars. Coming forth out of Jesus' mouth was a sharp, double-edged sword. Jesus' face was like the sun, shining in all its brilliance. That was an amazing moment when Jesus' beloved friend John saw Jesus in all his majesty. And it's this John who records these very words from Jesus. It is finished. It is complete. I, King Jesus, am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I, King Jesus, will give freely from the springs of the water of life. All who are victorious will inherit all these blessings, and I, King Jesus, will be their God and they will be my children. But cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshippers and all liars. Their fate is in there, the fiery lake of burning sulphur. This is the second death. And then in the, the closing parts of the Bible, Jesus speaks again. Look, I, King Jesus, are coming soon bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. I, King Jesus, am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. That's my Jesus, who called me to follow him almost 30 years ago now. It's been a roller coaster ride, but I've always known that he is in charge. So, I ask you, are you one of his followers, or are you continuing to be one of his deniers. Now, let's finish up with a song. Today, it's Marjorie Reese singing a praise song to Jesus. 
Thanks for joining us on Partakers Wednesday Worship. See you again real soon.